You join me in front of a Lamborghini Urus. Let's go for a walk around of this car and let's talk about it. I'm in absolute shock having a chat with the owner. Thank you so much to the owner um, in advance for yeah, giving me a chance to share this amazing super SUV. Lamborghini Urus, four litre twin turbocharged V8. 650 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque. Yeah, by far the most ultimate SUV you will ever see in your life. And it's right here. And I can guarantee you, because I can actually touch it. There's your Lamborghini badge, enamel with the ball. It looks absolutely stunning. So this car is obviously full PPF. It's in satin black. Looks amazing. I'm, I'm in absolute shock. <laughs> the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not small. The largest carbon ceramic brakes on any car, largest brakes on any car. So this is 10 piston calipers, 440 millimeters. So here's my hand. <laughs> um, I can't really, I mean, I hope I can try and give you some sort of idea how big it is. There's me, here's the size of the wheel. <laughs> not small. Orange calipers obviously going sort of befitting for Lamborghini. This owner's done sort of like a few small touches which um, I think look quite cool as well. Just like a little bit of orange accents around the side. But the whole design and the detail is absolutely mind-blowing. You've got like a lot of like the hexagonal shapes at the front which look really really nice. Gloss black. You also get like a, a trend of like this Y shape which I've noticed going through, as you can see sort of on the lights. We'll sort of show those details going through as well. But here's the side profile. And the most interesting thing is when we go behind, you'll see how low the car looks. It doesn't look like an SUV. Panoramic roof. You've then also got 370 mil rear disc brakes, also carbon ceramics. And because they're carbon ceramics, they're fade free. So it helps protect that wheel. I can't get over the size of it. I mean, so it's 23 inch wheels, <laughs> 325 section at the front, and I think it's 295 at the, um, at the front, 325 at the rear. I mean, absolutely huge. And I'm quite a person looking at suspension and parts. There's a lot of quality in that. This is the section where hopefully you can see just how low it looks and how sort of coupe like it looks. It doesn't feel like an SUV. Having been a passenger in it, it also drives like a car which is great with its sort of more comfortable suspension. You wouldn't think Lamborghini, you know, undailyable driver. Quad tail pipes. I'm a big fan of that, owning a Golf R with quad tail pipes. Classic Lamborghini badge. I mean, that looks incredible. You get like a twin spoiler as well. So one at the rear, one at the top. And again, you get sort of like the shapes and the designs around it. <laughs> I mean, it looks stunning rear diffuser at the back oh. oh i love kind of looking at the smaller details it's something else let's quickly just check inside you get like um obviously the usual kind of like frameless glass shown there plenty of plenty of leather i was mentioning about those um different shapes that you get in the car check that out little Little Y shapes all around the Bang & Olufsen system, which <laughs> look incredible. Inside, a little bit of orange sort of um, stitching in the seats. Really comfortable, really supportive, as you would expect. There's your sort of Urus sort of shown there. Paddles, Lamborghini obviously sort of inspired steering wheel. Coolest thing, <laughs> you get a fighter jet style start stop button. So you lift that up, push the button and you're away. Yeah, you can, you've obviously got like drive, neutral, normal sort of, it's an eight speed ZF gearbox. Oh, you get Lamborghini shown there. Panoramic roof. <laughs> the Alcantara, which is, I mean, I don't, I don't even know how well that's gonna come up on camera, but it is amazing headlining all around the car. Everything is special and it's huge. You know, you could go do a gumball rally on this, you could do trips, and you're in a, basically a supercar. It's definitely befitting of Lamborghini. It's something I don't think I'll ever, yeah, I may never get to experience again. This is just incredible. I don't know if the rear is gonna open for us, it is. So yeah, the weirdest thing is, is yeah, you've got space. 
<laughs> it's huge in here. Like it's literally cavernous. Um, and you can see the roof lining a lot better. I mean, that is amazing. <gasps> what a car. One of the most, ex well, uh, I mean, let's, let's stand out for a second. Yeah, this is by far one of the most incredible cars I've kind of ever gone round. Just the little intricate details are just mind blowing to me. Like you can imagine a person at Lamborghini going through all these little tiny details to get everything absolutely perfect. And that's what they've done. I think I'm amazed at how low it looks for such a big car. They're based on sort of like the VW Audi Group platform. So you get all that, it works kind of ability and then you add the Lamborghini flair. It genuinely looks like a Lamborghini. The Hurricane sort of jumped up a little bit. It's that kind of level. I mean, just look at the front. Look at that. I mean, you're never gonna see it something more incredible than that. Excuse the noise in the background, but what a car. It's, it's, a huge aspirational car to kind of get for everyone and i think if you're a petrol head and you really like your cars like this owner does go out and drive it go out and enjoy it for sure they're fantastic investments at the moment as well which is a huge bonus um but you know you live once and you're never going to get to experience something like this again um you know the world is heading in a completely different direction with electric so to stick a v8 yeah, it's twin turbos, but that's where you get the power from. One thing I do want to mention before I forget, you do get a lot of drive modes in this car. Um, you get a lot of like off-road modes as well, which is an option. Um, so this can do a bit of off-roading. So you see down there, you can see the little um, little signs. So you've got Strada, Sport, Corsa. So that'll basically just change the velocity of like your gear shifts and the powertrain and the noise. But you also get Sabia, Terra <laughs> and Neve, which is um, basically like gravel, um, sand and snow. So it can literally, literally do everything. You get the dual screens. It's very similar to like an Audi, um, Audi Q8, for example. Um, there's the Bang & Olufsen tweeters, which actually rise, uh, which is super cool. Is there any more I can say about this car? Probably I could talk about it forever. <laughs> What, what an amazing car and I hope my sort of walk around of it gives you an idea of what this is like. Huge thank you to actually, well yeah, my neighbour actually um, for allowing me the chance just to share the car with you guys and um, yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. But um, yeah, I'm going to sort of pinch myself and sort of, it is one of those things where I kind of have to touch the badge because yeah, I would never have expected something like this to happen. And yeah, Lamborghini Urus. Uh, stunning car, stunning car. Um, the little final thing on the drive is how you can actually live with this car. I thought it would be way too hard, but straight away I was like, this is really comfy. And yet obviously really taut and loud and amazing. And it's a gorgeous sunny day. And it's a Lamborghini. What a car, what a car.